Item number, SCP-570, Object Class, Safe. Special Containment Procedures, SCP-570 is to be contained within a reinforced steel containment locker. No personnel are permitted to wear SCP-570, and all subjects who have worn it during testing are to have it removed immediately afterwards. Personnel who have worn SCP-570 are to be given medical treatment for their hands. Following removal. Description. SCP-570 is a pair of cotton gloves. When worn, they will extend between 100 to 150 cotton fibers into the outer epidermal layer of the subject's hand. Removing SCP-570 after this point will cause extreme damage to the subject's epidermal and muscle tissue. Following initial exposure to SCP-570, these fibers will migrate throughout the subject's body, eventually establishing contiguous connections to 80% of the subject's muscle tissue. Subjects affected by SCP-570 are classified as SCP-571. Instances of SCP-571 are capable of controlling the actions of any living organism they have physically contacted while wearing SCP-570. Subjects are connected to SCP-571 by several strings, which are produced from its fingers. These strings are not composed of the same material as SCP-570. Instead, they contain DNA and match the composition of the SCP-571's muscle tendons. With practice, instances of SCP-571 are capable of controlling up to 20 subjects at once by extending multiple strings out to the affected subjects from their fingertips. Note that the SCP-571 instance controls the others by use of physical movement. Subjects will have to act carefully, due to the potential of tangling SCP-570 strings, when there is a large number of affected subjects. SCP-571 subjects appear to be endowed with some basic knowledge of puppeteering techniques. However, Instances with a background in marionette use will be more able to utilize SCP-570. After bringing multiple subjects under their control, the SCP-571 instances and subjects will begin to seek out any gathering of prepubescent subjects and use the persons they have attached themselves in order to put on puppet shows. SCP-571 and its affected subjects will recreate any stories they know, which are easily understood by children and usable with the number of persons they have under their control. These puppet shows may last from anywhere between one hour and several days, depending on the length of the story and the number of subjects involved. Following the completion of the show, all subjects will be released from SCP-571. Subjects who were under SCP-570's control will suffer no immediate side effects after being released, with the exception of a strong sense of longing. Because of this, many subjects will eventually try to take possession of SCP-570 and attempt to create shows of their own. Subjects will claim that they experienced extreme feelings of joy and belonging when performing, and wish to give these feelings to others. This effect is not universal, and will only manifest in subjects who previously displayed symptoms of depression and anxiety. SCP-570 was recovered from Uncle Pappy's Magic Emporium, which was a magic trick in puppeteering business. The proprietor of the store had become an SCP-571 instance, and used SCP-570 on the parents of children who came into his store. Following reports from local law enforcement officers after witnessing SCP-570, Foundation personnel were deployed, and containment was enacted. As of 0918, 1976, SCP-570 has been classified as safe. Addendum Testing Log 570 Test A 609-19 Subject SCP-571 6D Class Subjects Procedure SCP-571 was instructed to perform Cinderella using D-Class personnel. Results. Show was performed without incident, with overarching narration being provided by SCP-571. 
Analysis Test was performed as a baseline for SCP-570's properties. Test B 623-19 Subject SCP-571 Six Rabbits Procedure SCP-571 was instructed to perform a reenactment of the book Watership Down. Results SCP-571 used no dialogue in the play. When asked, it claimed that such an action would be unrealistic. Analysis Test was performed to establish baseline for SCP-570's effect on animals. Test G 819 19 Subject SCP-571 Seven completely paralyzed D-Class personnel Procedure SCP-571 was instructed to use the D-Class personnel in a play of Peter Pan. Results Play was performed by SCP-571 and the D-Class personnel, with SCP-571 providing all lines for the D-Class personnel, in addition to narration. SCP-571 was noted to have difficulty speaking following the test. Analysis Later tests have shown that, once mute, SCP-571 will simply act out the motions of the performance, without any dialogue. Test I 19 Subject SCP-570 Three D-Class Subjects Procedure Test was conducted for six days, seven hours. Results SCP-571 and the D-Class personnel were provided with sustenance. However, all D-Class personnel were not able to eat while being controlled by SCP-571. Following four days of testing, all D-Class had expired due to malnutrition and exhaustion. SCP-571 continued using the cadavers in the performance, providing narration in a manner similar to Test G. After five days had passed, the tissue surrounding the strings began breaking down, and after six days and seven hours, the flesh connecting the subjects to SCP-571 had decomposed and severed the connection. Analysis N.A. Addendum 2 Notes on SCP-570 Fiber Composition Samples taken from the cotton fibers used by SCP-570 to link SCP-571 and its affected subjects have been shown to match the composition of initial samples taken from SCP-2991. Due to the possibility that this particular fiber composition may be partially responsible for the effects of both anomalies, Anomalous Materials Analysis on Samples from Both Objects is currently underway. Lesson Complete If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-569, Heads, right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.